Peter Delapena here with USA coach James Pammon after a six wicket loss to the West Indies emerging squad. It looked like it was going to be a pretty obvious win the toss, win the match. Whoever was going to win the toss was going to bowl first with what happened beforehand. There was an issue with the pitch and it looked like water had seeped into it. Having lost the toss, did you feel like it was an uphill battle from there, or how did you feel the players responded to the situation? Yeah, I think I think ultimately concentrating on our team rather than result. We did look like a team that you know haven't played a lot of cricket for six weeks uh, in the first innings, and a team that hasn't been preparing to play 2020 cricket. You know, we'd obviously been preparing for 50 over cricket, so we, we didn't quite adapt as well as what we could have done. But but you're right with your assessment. I think the advantage for the team batting second was was measurable uh, in terms of uh, bowling with a wet ball. They, they did bowl with a wet ball, but I'm sure it wasn't as wet as the one that we had to contend with. Uh, but I thought, you know, we, we did a, a great job early on in our uh, bowling innings, and unfortunately, if we could have got a, a run out that was a, on offer for us, we, we could have even pushed for a victory. At 25 for four, in spite of the target being just 110, Yep. USA was in a very, very strong position there. And then it's been a habit over the course of, of this Super 50 over the years. USA gets early wickets, and then it seems like, regardless of whether it's 20 overs reduced match or 50 over match, that middle order partnership is an area where USA in the field has struggled to make breakthroughs. You mentioned that possible missed run out opportunity. Is there something else about the way the team was responding in the field, or just? Was it a case of they were very mature in their partnership and, yeah. and that's what won the match? Yeah, it was a very good partnership. Yeah, first and foremost, I thought they did. They took their time. I guess, you know, from a, a measurement point of view, you're looking at dot balls and, you know, and they did, uh, they did produce a number of dot balls, but then when they put the foot down, you know, they managed to found the, find the boundary four or five overs in a row. And predominantly, I think apart from one, they were all reasonable shots. So I think from our point of view, we, we kept doing what we could do. I don't think there was any mental hangover from previous experiences that may have gone in a similar way. Uh, the bowlers have you know, just talked briefly to the bowlers now, and they definitely struggled to put the ball with the pace control that they wanted in the right areas. So I think in conjunction with them playing very well and assessing the situation and making good decisions, uh, and just our own ability, due to conditions mainly, we, we couldn't get the ball in the right areas. But we, we will reflect on being a little bit disappointed with 110. You know, we, uh, we set a target of 140, having assessed it after five, six overs. And we just weren't good enough today uh, to do that through creating partnerships and just through making poor decisions in, in relation to how we got out at times. In terms of squad balance, seeing the conditions, regardless of whether it was a 20 over match tonight or yep. 50 overs going forward, it looks like it's going to be a struggle at night time to bowl with the ball, with dew, with the humidity. The ball was changed through the yep. innings, regardless of the rain that fell earlier. And there was an overload of medium pacers that weren't really used tonight. Yeah. So going forward, what is the likelihood of picking an extra batsman? You've got options on the bench yeah, with the soccer Patel um, and just balancing the squad better that way as opposed to having an extra medium pacer that you really wind up not using tonight? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we picked our team this morning, you know, with a 50-over game in mind. We, we could have changed our team, you know, given that the game was shortened. I think we, we make, we're making it quite clear that, you know, through this series, we respect this series and we're very delighted to be here and be invited to, to come and play in this series again. But we want to find our best 14 to go to Dubai. And we'll spend the first five, maybe even six rounds finding that. So there'll be a, there'll be a rotation. But you know, we like to con consider it opportunity. Uh, and we don't want to put pressure on our players. We want to create opportunity for our players to find out who the best 14 are. So we could have picked a, we could have picked a different team for sure that might have been a little bit better suited to this type of game today but you know we committed to giving guys opportunities and we'll change the team for the next game and the next game with a view to trying to find what is the best four team moving forward so we don't want to lose any games of cricket and we certainly don't think that our selection that we selected today uh, resulted in that but we, we could have picked a slightly different team if this was a points at stake game. Two quick questions. Akshay Homeraj, his debut tonight, didn't score many with the bat, but it looked very, very sharp behind the stumps, had a very good catch and then a sharp stumping. 
yeah. how would you evaluate how he performed on day? Yeah, yeah, very, very happy for him. Yeah, and I, and I thought he looked quite busy with the bat as well. Yeah, uh, and his gloves. Yeah, once again, did a reasonable job, and he will take confidence from producing two dismissals. So, yeah, it's positive for a young man to come in and, and make a good contribution. Steven Taylor, we saw him have the left ankle injury landing on the crease, and there was issues with that, those foot marks all night long. Yeah, but. He was able to stay in, got some treatment. Yeah. What's his status now going forward? Yeah, yeah I think Stephen Stephen just did a, a, a little roll of his ankle, and obviously if you just roll it, it's a little tender uh, straight afterwards. But I think you know, with a little bit of treatment, he, he finished off that over. It was only one ball, and and he stayed out there and, and fielded you know to his capacity. So I wouldn't anticipate it causing him any trouble moving forward. But yeah, it's just you know little things like that happen when it's a little bit greasy and. It's a little bit disappointing that you know the uh, the wicket stopped us playing a, a longer game through the covers leaking. I think you come to these these sorts of grounds and you shouldn't be having covers leaking on a land that's you know you can't beat the natural elements, but it could have been avoided. So that's a little bit disappointing for a, a tournament of this standing to that happen. But you got to put up with it and move on, don't you? Anything else you want to say about today's match? No, no, it's a good, it's a good sh shake out for us. You know, like I say, we haven't played for six weeks, so uh, it's nice to get everybody back together and, and get the group. You know, they're, they're feeling very positive, and, and and let's hope that you know some positive results come for us in the next two or three rounds.